Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Today I am going to show you a fantastic five out basketball play from the Boston Celtics. So my name is Alan and on this channel I show you basketball drills, plays and skills and today I'm going to show you a Boston Celtics five out basketball play. They used it the other day so I thought why not show it here? So, uh, anyways, this is a great basketball play. If you have a player who can shoot the ball really well, this play is absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the play on the clipboard, this thing, and then from there I'm going to show you the actual play itself, like the recording, and then I'm going to put it up against a 2-3 zone and a 3-2 zone. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get down to this clipboard. So in this basketball play, we are going to have player 5 screening for player 2 who is going to then pop up. And we're going to have player 4 screening for player 3. 3 is going to cut inside of him and then is, he's going to then circle around. Player 1 is going to then pass player 3 the ball and player 3 is going to take the 3 point shot on this side of player 4. Now, what can also happen is if this player, if his defender gets caught up with player 4 and player 4's defender is not sagging down to protect the key, player 3 could also go in for the layup as well. Now, let's check out the actual play itself and then we'll get over to the 2-3 zone and the 3-2 zone and see if this will pl play will work against that. So now, against a 2-3 zone, what you need to have your point guard look for is which one of these two players is guarding him. If they're both guarding him, then both of these wings will be open, so these guys on both sides could be running this play. If, for however chance, player 1 is sagging off because maybe there's a better player on this side, then you don't want to go to that side. What you want to do is go to this side because this whole wing right there is wide open. So what we're going to start with is, well, let's just say, for example, player one is sagging to this side. So you want to run it on this side. Whoops, on this side. So now what we're going to have is player four screening down or screening up, depending on where player four is playing. And what we're going to have here is player three cutting in across and out. Player one will pass player three the ball, and he's going to come out this way. Now, if player four gets hung up, he could drive. That would be a fantastic option, or he could take the open shot right here as well. If player 4 does sag off, and he does recover to player 3 before he takes that shot, player 4 could pop out, or he could also roll towards the basket as well. Either he could shoot from back here, or he could cut and, well, to the wards the basket and get a nice easy layup which would be fantastic now let's go over to the 3-2 zone and see what happens okay so here we have a 3-2 zone defense now what we're gonna have is player 4 now instead of screening down or anything he's just gonna be screening player 2 player 3 is then gonna cut across he's gonna make sure that he cuts in front and then comes back around so now maybe player 2 red will then get hung up on player four. Player one will then pass player three the ball and player three could take that shot. Now this is the great part. This is the part that I really like. So what we're gonna have is if player two red goes and recovers the player three, player three could quite literally cut towards the rim or drive towards the rim which would then bring player four and two towards him. Look at the wide open lane player four has so that now player 4 can get the ball for the layup, which would then possibly bring player 5 red in, and player 4 blue could go in for a layup and maybe a foul, or he could pass out to player 2 for the 3 point shot as well. Because in, against his own defense, you really, really want to have the ball go into the key, which then brings the whole defense in, so you can then pass it back out for a nice open shot. Because that is the main reason and absolutely amazing option to do. 
Now, I hope you have enjoyed today's basketball play video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I hope you're able to use this offense with your basketball team. Obviously, this would be for probably the high school age uh, because you might not want to run that again with an elementary school team unless they really know what they are doing. Anyways, if you have liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below on if you have used this play or if you have got how to go against this play or just what you think about today's video. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. I make these videos every day, so I will see you guys tomorrow. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They are absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole, you can work on your first step, or somebody can hold you back and you can run with it and work on your legs. Check them out in the link in the description below. They are amazing. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.